Hey, Chris Lipe here, helping you become a more comfortable and confident and powerful singer. And in this video, we're talking about how to develop power across your whole range. A lot of singers come to me and they tell me that they feel like, especially when they start to sing louder, that they feel it in their neck. They feel tense. They, they don't know exactly where their power is supposed to be coming from. Even after taking voice lessons, even after watching other YouTube videos, they haven't figured out where their power is supposed to come from. And I'm talking about real confident power. I can only hope. I can only hope. I can only hope. I can only hope. So in order to help you discover where your power should be coming from, it's helpful to do what I'm about to do standing up. You can do it sitting down once you've gotten the feel, totally fine. But standing up and being able to move up and down and, and do some things helps you uh, with discovering how your muscles are supposed to work. So there's no way that you can actually get the power that you just heard me sing with if you've got tension in the neck, if you've got things that are kind of holding you up, and if you're just forcing it. You're going to run out of juice with your voice so fast if you try to sing that loud and you don't have things dialed in with your support muscles. So where are these support muscles and how do we engage them? Well, with a lot of other th as with a lot of other things on this channel, I like to go to non-singing activities in order to help you discover how you can use certain muscles for singing activities. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little mini squat like that. And you don't want to do this, not like this. You want to keep your, your back straight and you want to stick your butt out and back like that. You feel that energy in your legs, your, your upper legs, your thighs, your quads. You feel that energy there, but you also feel a bit of it in your butt. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go down and squat just a little bit more. And at the same time, I want you to act like you are going to poop. I know that sounds weird, but, you know, make sure you don't actually have to go. <laughs> but bend down and, and bear down as if you're pushing something out. That feeling of pushing something out is the feeling. Those muscles are what you want to engage when you are engaging your support muscles for your voice. I know this sounds strange, but it's true. Let's go ahead and squat again. Push. Push something out. If you're feeling that, if you're feeling like, uh, I might pass some gas or something, you're doing it right. If you're not feeling that, then you're not doing it right. <laughs> and you won't be able to move past this into figuring out how to use it with your voice. So here's the next step. Uh, and I'm gonna pull my shirt tight so you can see what's happening with my stomach. Now, a lot of times when people breathe, especially before they sing, but even when they're, when they're speaking, they'll breathe like this. And then they'll push like this and then you'll see as they breathe out, that sort of thing happens. That, that's not really effective singing. And what it does is it puts the emphasis up here. We want to train our minds to think about stuff coming from here and below. Here and below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push something out our rear end. And then we're going to relax completely. Relax completely. And when I relaxed, my stomach came out. Then we're going to engage, it's hard for me to do while I'm talking, but you'll see what I'm going to do in a second here. We're going to engage those push out muscles instantaneously like this. <laughs> 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 
not even making any sound yet. You can see my chest is not moving. My stomach is going in. It's almost like I'm going to, I mean, if I keep doing that, I'm going to cough. It's that same sort of reflex. But I don't feel, I mean, I do feel air coming up, but I definitely am focused. My mind is focused on obviously not really pushing something out my rear end, but those muscles, those bearing down muscles as if you're pushing something out. And you can even, I don't know if the mic's uh, sensitive enough, but you can even hear things sloshing in my stomach. It's helpful to put your hand on your stomach. I'm going to take you further now. Once you've been able to do this idea where we're doing this fast breath and we're engaging those bearing down muscles instantaneously, we're going to add phonation. We're going to add sound coming from our vocal cords. And it's just as if you were slamming into someone when you were playing football or, uh, you know, you just got hit with something like a big pillow, having a pillow fight. I don't know. Don't worry about damaging your voice. You're not going to damage your voice, even if you're doing things wrong, if, as long as you don't do it too long. But if you're engaging your support muscles, you won't damage your voice at all. This is how your body was designed to be used for this kind of activity, for singing, for loud speaking. Ha, 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 ha. Doesn't matter what pitch you're singing. Ha, 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 ha. See my stomach? And I feel it. I feel it in my lower abdominal, like right, right in here, and I feel it here. And not in my butt muscles per se, but that idea that that, that bearing downness. Ha 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 ha. Next, once we've got that sensation, so we have our stomach muscles flexed. They're going in with every single thing we do, like that. Next. We're going to do the huh, but we're going to hold after that. So it's going to be like, huh, huh, huh. Now, these are somewhat unconventional exercises that you probably won't see any other vocal coach do exactly the same way. But I'm really trying to help you learn the feel first. So many times uh, when people are starting to sing or if they've been singing for a while, People go after sound first. We don't want to do that. We want to go after feel first, make sure things feel the way they're supposed to, and then gradually build our sound on top of that. Ha, 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 ha. Now, we don't want to be doing this. Uh, uh, uh. It's very important that we're going, huh, that we're starting with that, it's called a soft onset, but we're starting with a, a bit of an H. That's going to protect our vocal cords a little bit uh, while we're doing this. But it's also going to help us direct our air a little bit better than um, this sort of ah, 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 than that sort of thing happening. We want it, ha, 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 ha. Now, when you lock into that tone after the initial ha, huh, ha, you want to remain with all of these muscles engaged. Your stomach flexed, you're pushing something out. Ha, ha, ha. And let the pitch go down as you push more. Ha! Now, I'm not pushing more. I'm not tightening up my neck. I'm not pushing from anywhere other than bearing down and letting my stomach go in. So it's this idea of going in this way and down, and then letting the result of that push the power up. Now, I encourage you to try what we just did, standing up and then sitting down in an armless chair where you can still maintain good posture. Sometimes, if uh, you have trouble figuring it out standing up, sometimes sitting down helps. Uh, sometimes if you're sitting down and you have trouble figuring it out, sometimes standing up helps. The biggest thing, though, is you want to remain loose everywhere but your, your lower abdominals and that bearing down and pushing in. You don't want to be tight here. You don't want shoulder tension. So be, be attentive to that as you're working through what I've just shown you. Now, after you have that down, or as you're starting to get it down, we want to incorporate it into singing as quickly as possible so that we are able to translate those feelings that we get into actual notes. We don't want it to get lost in simply um, a, a drill that doesn't involve actual singing. 
Now, before we do any real notes, I want you to try something. I want you to yawn. I don't want you to stick your tongue out. Like that. You're going to be opening up everything. It's going to sound like this. <sighs> and then, as you're doing that, I want you to try this again. The, this idea of bearing down and then... <sighs> It's not a pretty sound. But what we're doing is we're forcing ourselves to open up in this area so we can't possibly be um, constricting our airflow with our neck. It's so wide open. (sighs) Not that we're going to sing like that, not that we're going to do that forever, but we want to be aware of that sensation as well. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to ha into a note. Any old note. Ha, 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 ha. Are you bearing down? Are you feeling it around where your tailbone is? Are you feeling the stomach muscles work? Or are you ha, 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 or are you doing that? Or are you doing ha, ha, ha? You can hear the difference in sound and in power. One is very limiting. Once you've gotten this ha idea down, we're going to hold that note out and we're going to change pitches. We're going to essentially throw our voice like you heard me doing at the beginning. It's going to sound like this. Ha, or whatever. It could be, it doesn't, the pitches don't really matter what they are. The point is, is that you're fluctuating. It could even be like this. But when I'm doing that, when I'm doing that, I am getting that, that uh, dip from re-engaging to a, a greater intensity level, my stomach muscles and my, my lower abdominal muscles. I'm not doing it here. I'm not doing like that. Every one of those little dips you hear is a, a more intensely focused approach down here, not up here. That's what we want to practice. And like a lot of the other videos that I do, I like to put on a track and try this sort of thing in a musical context. Even though I'm not going for any specific pitches, I just want to put something on and make some noise over a track like I did at the beginning, but I'm going to do it for a little bit longer. And I'm going to make some some noises more like what we've done here to help you see and hear the transition that happens when you're engaging your support muscles. So give this a try and let me know how it goes. And if you want to take it further, again, be sure to join my free vocal course where you get to see me and David Walliman walk through this together. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel. I talk a lot about how to overcome different obstacles with your voice so that you can have the voice you've always wanted. We'll see you for more.